Hello and welcome to the Met Office weekend weather forecast. Following high pressure and several days of fine weather through this week, the weekend's forecast for the UK is not looking quite as straightforward. And there are a number of reasons for that. Now, early Friday, we've still got high pressure across the UK, albeit moving east. But at the same time, a hurricane is heading straight for the Azores, likely to bring serious impacts from wind and from large waves. This Category 1 hurricane then, shortly after it hits the Azores, transitions into an X hurricane, a typical mid-latitude low, heading for Iberia as a decaying system. It's not going to push into the UK or come anywhere close, but it will indirectly impact our weather because we've got the weather front tied up to the north of that. And there's a subtle interplay between that ex-hurricane, the front moving into the west of the UK and the high pressure to the east. And more details on that in just a moment. For the start of Saturday, we've still got the influence from high pressure in the east of the country with sunny spells from the word go, an increasing breeze, however. That breeze is coming from the south, so it's not as chilly first thing on Saturday as it has been for various mornings this week. But it is a wet start for Western Scotland and Northern Ireland. That rain pushes into the rest of Scotland, into parts of Western England and Wales. Patchy rain towards the south, persistent stuff towards the northwest, 30 to 50 millimetres in places. Feeling unpleasant here, but a mild afternoon in the south and southeast, 18 or 19 Celsius. Now, at this stage, the front's slowing down, and the reason for that is because of high pressure over Scandinavia. This is the high we've had over the UK through the week. It's moving its way eastwards, and it's really establishing itself by Saturday across Scandinavia, and that acts as a, a big boulder in a stream, effectively splitting the jet stream in two and causing the jet stream out to the west of the UK as it approaches to dip. It dives south because it can't go across the UK. It must dive south. And as that dives south, we've got this ex-hurricane also tugging on the jet stream. And it's this chaotic interaction between an ex-hurricane, high pressure to the east, and the jet stream diving south over the UK that causes some uncertainty as we go into Sunday. And the main uncertainty for the UK itself is how much the jet stream dives south. And it could be tugged further south by the ex-hurricane and by the uh, dominant high to the east. And if it is, then that front will slow down even further. It could become more active as well as it crosses the south and the east of the UK. There are a minority of computer model simulations in which an area of low pressure forms across the east and the south of the UK, causing more widespread and heavy rain across the south and the east of the country. But that's a minority of simulations when we run the computer model dozens of times. The majority and the most likely scenarios for the rain band to be slowly and erratically clearing the east of England. Still some heavy bursts there across East Anglia during Sunday afternoon. But uh, brighter spells for many other places, albeit with a few showers for Scotland, Northern Ireland, Western England and Wales. So this is the most likely temperatures up to the mid to high teens fairly widely. But we need to be mindful of the fact that that front could persist for longer, bringing a more widespread wet day in the south and the east and lower temperatures as a result. Now, bizarrely, as we go into next week, we've got higher confidence for the weather compared with Sunday. And that's because high pressure looks very likely to move back in again, particularly across the south, still allowing some fronts to move into the north and northwest of Scotland from time to time. But with that high pressure re-establishing itself for the final couple of days of September, well, it's certainly a case of a month of two halves after a very unsettled first half of September, the second half looking much drier and brighter albeit with that uh, blip this weekend where we've got a slow-moving front crossing the country.